as the lioness stalks her prey. Josh and Adam disguise themselves as antelope to tempt her. Kick it like a mangled unicorn horn into the left thigh muscle. Snap into a unicorn horn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Josh. And I'm Adam. Welcome to the Sauce Mac Cool Tools of Doom and Stuff. Brought to you by seven hamsters drinking pina coladas <laughs> in a pile of wood chips while getting a suntan <laughs> under a heat lamp. Thank you, Smart Wheeler. Now. Cool Tools of Doom and Stuff. Design. Uh, feedback is essential for pretty much every design project. Yes, it is, mm. Josh. And with forced.com, pronounced forest, I guess, users are <laughs> <laughs> able to upload design projects they've been working on and receive ah. no nonsense feedback from the supportive forest community. Yep, uh, everything from web design to branding and business cards and icon design. Get inspired and check it out at forest.com. F-O-R-R-S-T dot And once you've gotten your feedback for your new iOS app icon, be sure to head over to the Invisible Light Network to have your favorite song 3D printed. You mean I can finally wear baby beluga on my tentacle? <laughs> Why, yes, Ma. You can. Sweet poppin' cake. I can't believe how great that is! Elliot Blanchard and his team at ILN use audio analysis to generate code that is turned into a 3D printed structure that's snuggly wuggly onto your lovely arm. Get your favorite Jimi Hendrix song 3D printed at InvisibleLightNetwork.com. Oh yeah. Applications. Photo lettering, have you heard of it? It's the new iPhone app that lets you write directly on your photographs with beautiful beautiful fonts. I love typefaces. Josh is right. With this new app, you can say it like you mean it on all of your lovely Instagram posts. Check it out in the iTunes app store for free. Do you find yourself out on the town after work with friends and you're just uh, tired of splitting that happy hour tab? I never split the tab. I never pay it all. You never do. It's mad. He, He never does. Well, not anymore, Smoth. The latest update to the popular GroupMe app for Android and iPhone makes bill splitting a sin. Yes, with one person paying the total, the others can chip in via the app for fast and easy bill splitting on the go. Um, and I don't talk about maraschino cherries. DIY. Have you been stacking mattresses all these years and are in need of a good, solid bed frame? Jiggity, 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 jiggity. Ha! More like rickety rickety. <laughs> With this pipe bed frame tutorial, you can create a stylish bed frame from metal pipe components found at your local Home Depot. Turns Head on out. over to simplifiedbuilding.com for the full instructions. And to match your stylish new bed frame, Josh. Yes. You. Yes, you, sir, mm-hmm. can repurpose that bright orange Home no. Depot five gallon <laughs> bucket you used for your last painting project. Yes. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> With this genius DIY project from designsponge.com, you can convert any five-gallon bucket into a stylish, wait for it, Ottoman. <laughs> yeah. You mean you can That's prop right. your feet up on a bucket? <laughs> yeah. It's, it, you know, it, go through the steps, <laughs> like, you'll figure it out. All right, life-changing. Rock awesomeness. So... You got a new concept for a new brand or identity, do ya? But you're lacking an easy way of showing your awesome new concepts in any sort of context. Well, not anymore, my friends. Uh, with mm-hmm. LiveSurface.com, yep. this is cool. The sky is the absolute limit with blank image templates for just about anything. Check it out over at LiveSurface.com. And while you're running through those identity concepts, uh, make sure you have bacon close by, as always. Bacon? Now that's how we start the party! Yeah, get it going. With the Tack Back Tactical Canned Bacon, you have 10 years <laughs> to savor the flavor of fresh canned bacon. <laughs> <laughs> Why, yes, of course. <laughs> Why didn't I ever think of canned bacon? <sighs> Each can comes with 18 wholesome servings of the uh-huh. greasy good stuff. Yeah. And it can be all yours for nineteen ninety nine <laughs> on thinkgeek.com. Leave oh it to my you. gosh, that is uh, astounding. <sighs> Smoth Miller, what do you think of all this? I want bacon. <laughs> I want bacon in a can so Obviously. I can take it out with with a spatula 
and spread it all over my spread toes it. and suck my feet. Spread the bacon. Spread it around. Yes. Adam, <laughs> what's on CAD Junkie, man? As usual, my friend, this week we have uh, all kinds of great stuff. We have new SolidWorks surfacing series where Ooh. we start with a 2D sketch and build uh, complex surfaces from our sketch reference. Be sure to head over to cadjunkie.com to get free membership and check that out. Fun stuff. What's on Engineer vs. Designer? Well, of course, loads of cool interviews. This week, we interview the CEO of MCOR Technologies, Connor McCormick, mm -hmm. about the trials and tribulations of developing a paper-based 3D printer. Stay tuned for more and listen in on iTunes or at engineerversusdesigner.com. And there you have it. Send your cool tool finds to smoth at solidsmack.com. Sign up for our newsletter there in the sidebar. Or ask us a question in the comments or via email about DIY design tech or anything else. Smoth would love to help. I love being helpful. I try to be helpful whenever I can. Especially if it involves bacon. And I have about 50 cans of bacon up on my shelves next to my books, which are also made of bacon. I invented those. They're like pop-up books, except that they're bacon, and I can open them and eat them. They pop bacon into my face hole so that I can crunch it and munch it all night long. Shake that bacon, baby. I love bacon in cans or in bowls or in spoons. I like bacon with squirrel meat. I once killed a man with a knife made of bacon. I'm a throwing knife. I'm a throwing bacon knife champion. I once charred my tentacle in an attempt to try to make it taste more like bacon. I made myself a loincloth out of bacon and ate it off of myself, which was a dangerous thing to do, but it worked surprisingly well. A production of EBD Media.